do see Switch, Stitch now switching over onto the Tracer. Now run away, good amount else to use. There's a Nano Blade, Toby falls immediately. Hoxall looking for more, slicing and dicing. The Earth Shatter came in through the middle of that, and it's a big fight for Runaway. Looks like they'll be able to take the point back, and they are already up to 86. It's still so close. Hoxall dazed and confused kills. We're into OT right now. Hoxall dashing through for the kills, looking for a bit more on to Miro. Miro so low, Toby can't quite keep him up. And it looks like Runaway may just have it on this point, depending on how quick the response can get there for Lunatic High. Deska kind of on his own, didn't survive too long. Toby backing away now, and that's gonna be it. Runaway, uh, Runaway, biding their time for a few more ults. Now Oxal, he's sick of biding time. He's got the Nano Blade going down to Jay Hong. Beautiful point blank sleep dart from Jay Hong. Who are you, meanwhile, pulling out the Nano Blade himself, and Lunatic High strikes back with a pretty devastating team fight. Back away, where you got a little bit low, but got brought back up. Hoxaw, the first to fall though, and Lutek High, despite losing Zumba, maybe they have a chance here. It is a brawl, but who are you in the cafe? Holding strong, but he's gotta try to save Jayhong. Jayhong going to live, wow, actually had the grenade on himself, and who are you cleaning it up? Oh, there's heroes, and there's gonna be a nano blade coming through. That's right, who are you pulls it out to try to counter the engage, and he is gonna get four with that nano blade. Runaway, routed. A very desperate play there from Bumper on the Zarya. And again, Juicy, a late kill. And who are you looking for more with the Dragon Blade? Again, is he going to be able to turn the fight around? He is. Yeah, only gets one, but that's all he needs. Maybe he didn't actually have to use the Dragon Blade right there. Pops back to Jay Hong, who is coming in from spawn just to try and make this work. Oh! Hoxo gets the kill, and he's still got the Dragon Blade left. Yeah, the duel going the way of Ver Runaway, and they may have stabilized here. Rambling a little bit. Two minutes left on the clock right now. As Bumper deals with Hero coming in, Hoxo, Hoxo meanwhile with a Nano Blade gets one, looks for more. There he found. Who are you? With another kill, Runaway holding strong back. They're going to get a little bit of ground going with the payload. Zumba does get taken out as well. Hoxo. Handling the stragglers here. And that's oh, a Bustio. Oh, boy. Bustio and Toby somehow can't quite get the kills. He lives a long time. That's impressive, but not going to make it happen. Hoxall chasing Miro away. And that's the Zarya here for the moment. Gets stuck. Nearly dies. Does die. Is where you pulls out the Dragon Blade. Cuts down Runner. They got to back away. Okay, run away. Not using any ultimates. Playing it patiently. They're going way far ahead, but they've got the ultimate Genji to help them out. Hoxall turning around, decides he needs to get rid of that D.Va. Meanwhile, Miro up on top. Forced away just a little bit. Hoxall putting a lot of pressure on. Miro in trouble, goes down. And Runaway has been relatively unopposed this entire point B. Ground. There's a Graviton Surge now, but not a lot of follow-up from Lunatic High. Zumba does get one kill. Hoxall with the Dragon Blade. There goes Jay Hong. Oh, pinned by Miro, though. Gets Reflect up, but can't stay alive. And Lunatic High may hold here. They're going to push back. Who are you coming back up? I don't think he even got the pin there. Jay Hong does go down. Kaiser swinging away at Zumba. Gonna drop the Earth Shatter. Who did he catch with that? Yeah, oh, I believe he did get one. No, no. Turns around, Lutek High. Actually, who are you on the Genji? Besides, Lutek High is just gonna keep the push going. Uh, meanwhile, Runaway picking up a couple kills here. Hoxel finds Toby. And they went for the Nano Boost. It didn't end up working out. And Runaway gets a bit of breathing room now. Yeah, they nice do. reflect on that. Or for Runaway, rather. They can use him efficiently. Who are you with the Dragon Blade? Goes after Cox, pushed back by the whole hog. Oh, he gets the whole hog reflect kill on the Cox. Are you serious? Cox, although not deterred, gonna go after Miro and pick up a kill for his team before he goes down. Coming in from Runaway. Who you dives through the middle of the team, and that's gonna be a ton of damage for Runaway to deal with. That's a problem. Lunatic High, they're gonna stuff this first push at least. Lunatic High has been very good at winning fights like the point. You need attack visor, you need a dragon, but you need something. Oh, another great cutoff, but this time it's Hoxall. Okay, so they're gonna get him out just in time. That was Over really smart. Genji. Who are you with the dragon blade, though? He's gonna run into a sound barrier, but he's gonna take down Runner. There goes Stitch. Lunatic High. Looked risky for a moment, but they're gonna win this team fight, it looks like. You can see Runaway adapting. By Kaiser. They lose the fight. Go Bumper's on. gonna switch over to Zarya in a bit of desperation here. 20 seconds for Runaway. I mean, they know Hoxel. Here's why switching to Zarya. Oh, oh. Hoxel dies immediately! It's over, man. 
Push the payload out. Who are you lurking behind? Runner may be in a little bit of trouble. Great, Great play. Biotic grenade. Oh, Biotic that grenade. Was a setup. With who are you? That was beautiful. such a beautiful setup. They didn't know where who are you was. Yeah. And Jay Hong was there knowing that they'd be riding the cart. Manages to get the pickoff right away and start to move that time base. Well, start means they need to push fast. And Oxal gonna try to do just that with the nano blade. Trying to track down Toby, does find that kill. Meanwhile, the nano blade pulled out by Lunatic High as well, but no kills from that. Just Miro getting the kill on the Cox. Ryu does respond though. With two at the end, and Lunatech High will be able to turn the fight around. But they're going to have to drop the sound barrier, though. Who are you with the Dragon Blade now forcing people away? Cox drops early, and now Bumper forced out of the mech. Oh, who are you? Can he get back up? Oh, he survives with the dash. So close. Wall jumping back up for a kill on the runner, and Lunatech High is crushing runaway. They are just the thing is, is Wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jay Horn taking out Stitch got back there somehow. There's a pulse bomb. Went off, Eska gets the kill on Stitch though, and who are you, it's Dragon Blade time. And Runner in big trouble gets taken out, and Lu Tikai, they drop the sound barrier. I don't even know if they needed it, because they are crushing Runaway yet again. Primal Rage though for Kaiser, as he tries to keep it going on the payload, has to back off though. Up here, yep, trying to stay the on the card, but it's just not moving anywhere, Doa. Lunatic High has kept this thing totally in place, yep. glued to the ground this entire time. And now with a minute left, there is so much movement that has to happen you all know, the way around the keep, all the way across the drawbridge. J-Hook is died. Oh, so and now 15 seconds remaining for Runaway's attack. And it's desperation. Lutek High losing members. There's a pulse bomb. Eskin not getting the kill. So 6 5, the final seconds of Apex Season 2 as Cox goes down. Who are you with the Dragon Blade? There's OT. Has Lutek High finally done it? The Uncrowned Kings. Kaiser comes in with the Primal Rage to try to turn it around. Try to be a hero one last time. But Lutek High is lighting up that kill feed. He's staying alive, he's trying to make it happen, but that is it! Lunatic High will be the champions! Finally, third time to charm it, they will win Apex Season 2. And they are the best team in the world to have yet to win a major tournament. Doha, congrats! <laughs> Ah,